Vi er lagt i brakk I mangfoldige år Og byen har glemt oss I skyggen vi står Men nå er vi tilbake Der vi hører til Tilbake i toppen Verdens vakreste spill For vi er åsene Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter Mot all slags press Og det som er tyra For mye det er alt gress Vi er åsene Når kampen er vunnet Når skalpen er tatt Ja, da skal vi feire Som gal og besatt For dette er klubben Av kjøtt og blod Her finnes ingen stjerne nøkker Her går vi to og to For vi er åsene Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter Mot all slags press For det som har tyra På mye av gress Vi er åsene for dette er plassen Dette er mitt sted Overalt i verden Er det her jeg finner fred For her har vi blomstret Her skal vi svinne hen Og selv når vi er borte Så står klubben igjen Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter mot all slags press Og dø som har tyra på mye av gress Vi er åsene Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter mot all slags press Og dø som har tyra på mye av gress Vi er åsene Åsane What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the stream. We are live. 20th of June, 2023. We're back with uh, another stream uh, in Norway with Asane, guys. Today is a big day for the club. Today we are playing the Champions League playoff. Um, yesterday I couldn't stream. I apologize for that. Uh, didn't feel too well. And um, today I am back. Uh, I played on my own a few hours yesterday. We advanced. Uh, we made some uh, new uh, new deals in the transfer window. Uh, big big names um, joining the club. So yeah, we improved uh, over the overall uh, quality of the squad. Hopefully, hopefully this year, guys, we're gonna make it to the Champions League. Welcome to the stream again. I hope you're well. Let's start. all right so first let's go to the schedule like the usual uh last game we played on uh on the stream um that was uh when was it that was on friday i think uh let's see here it was uh, the win against molde 4-2 so after that we won away 3-2 at starsborg we lost at home Surprising, surprisingly against the Bodo Glimt 2 nothing in uh, a game that uh, we kind of dominated but they were uh, more efficient and they scored two goals um, also they were five points behind us at the time in the league standing so 
I guess, you know, um, it's more entertaining this way. We uh, we now have only three points in front of Bodog Lim. We're still first, guys, in the league. But the chase is tighter. Uh, after the last against Bodog Limt, we went away to Stabaik. We won one nothing. We came back home. We beat Valerenga 3-2 in a very, very entertaining game also. And then uh, playing the backups uh, against Valerenga, we were ready to, to face Slavia Praga in the first leg of the uh, third qualifying round in the Champions League. And we tied 4-4 away. It was a crazy game. Pule Butelezi, Balac and Martin Palumbo uh, on the score sheet. I'm going to show you um, the highlights for uh, Slavia Praga and the first leg of the playoff too because we played already Malmo in the playoff. We have the returning leg um, to play today at home so it's going to be a lot of pressure on the players definitely. So yeah, let's uh, watch the, um, the goals against Slavia Praga in the seventh minute. Palumbo in the box here, finding Butalesi. And uh, I played inside forward Butalesi for uh, for that game. And what a strike. What a way to, to start the proceedings here. And then the 18th minute, Slavia Praga ties the game with a beautiful goal by Fry. In the 19th minute, Mzimela finds Palumbo, takes a shot, hits the post. The ball is still... Uh, stays at um, our feet and then from the rebound Balac finds the net 2-1 and then 3-1 uh, in the 33rd minute Butalesi here in the box finds Palumbo takes a shot deflected and went straight in the net and this is uh, right before halftime guys we got a red card and then 3-2 um, Slavia Praga is coming back and, you know, they get closer. Uh, playing with uh, one man down is always difficult. And then uh, Ilecic in the 69th minute uh, with a cross attempt and deflected by Fort. The ball goes in our net. It's 3-3. 88th minute, Etebo finds uh, Plavsic. And again, Fry here, one-on-one -on -one with our goalie, finishes. And it's 4-3. And whenever we didn't expect to to uh, get anything from this game anymore, Hellesvik here in the 90 for 91st minute, yep, with the cross, lucky goal. Balac is there to just tap it in 4-4. It was a crazy, crazy game to watch, guys. So we got the tie, and we came back home. Uh, we played um, start with our backups in Elite Syrian. We won five nothing, easy win. And then uh, we played the starters again and our best 11 at home against Slavia Praga in the returning leg of the uh, of the third qualifying round. And we won 3-1, guys, and we qualified to the playoffs. Uh, the first uh, who scored, the first uh, who dropped the blood was uh, Slavia Praga. Ilecic scores the first one. And then in the 19th minute... We tie the game. Haugen here finds Hellesvik very active uh, in that game, assisting Alexic, our inside forward uh, on the right from Serbia, from Partizan. Uh, he's having a great season. And then in the 34th minute, we scored a second goal with Butelezi with a magnificent, magnificent run on the left. And what a, what a finish. And then um, the third goal came in the 71st minute with a crazy crazy uh, finish by Alexic again after the, the win against Slavia Praga we played odds who are currently second if I uh, if I'm not mistaken in the in the league we tied away 1-1 with our backups protecting the, the best 11 here for the uh, the first round the first leg of the uh, of the playoff of Champions League in which we lost, guys. We lost 2-1 uh, in the 91st minute. Uh, Arvin Davudi Kia scored the second goal for um, for the, the Swedish team. But let's watch the highlights, though.
So they scored very, very quick in the first minute. A, you know, a big mistake here in our central defense. And Castellanos one on one with uh, our goalie scores one nothing. And then in the 33rd minute, we find the net. Also, Alexic here cuts inside, finds Balac, and very, very good finish by our Romanian striker. And a heartbreaker in the 91st minute or 92nd minute. Malmo scores uh, with a crazy strike from 25 meters. No chance for the goalie. And uh, they take the advantage in the first leg. Uh, I was very, very pissed because we could have tied the game. We could have um, have, um, you know, a better, better confidence for the returning leg um, this is very important if we somehow win uh, our game at home uh, we can go to the champions league group stage guys um, for the first time in our history so we have to we have to keep our hopes high and we have to keep uh, staying positive we have a good team and i will show you right now um, the new additions all right let's see the transfer history here so we sold uh, in the this uh, summer transfer window players for about 40.5 million total and we got we we bought players for the uh, amount of 18.75 million so we made a lot of profit let's see who left the club um you already know kamanzi you already know felix korea lagesen on loan facundo garcia uh, was on loan and he came back and as soon as he came back, we sold him. Um, we sold him again for three hundred thousand, I think, or five hundred thousand. Yeah, right here to Albacete. So he left the club on a permanent deal to Albacete. Uh, Lars Killen, Groholt. These are meaningless, uh, meaningless deals that uh, already happened before last stream. Uh, okay, Adingra. We already know. Uh, we sold him last stream to. Vadolid for 2 million. Elias Hau, guys. Big, big name uh, in our team that uh, left us. Um, you know, when uh, when I got the, the offer for 8 million, I was not sure if I'm going to sell or not. Uh, we bought him for 2.2 million, but I forgot that we had a clause in his contract with a 50% future fee clause. And when we sold him, we received only 4 million instead of 8 million. But still, we made profit even this way. Here when Insomi, heartbreaker. Again, uh, we had to sell him. He wanted to leave. We wanted the money. Bournemouth paid us a lot, guys. A lot of money for uh, for Insomi. Uh, 18.75 million. Uh, huge, huge amount of money for us. We had to say yes. Uh, Wonder Kid or future Wonder Kid, Sherwin Msomi was a very very uh, good good prospect for uh, for our club for our future, and uh, I think just buying him for five hundred thousand dollar from uh, Super Sport United in South Africa, uh, you know, and selling him for eighteen point seventy five. This is probably one of the best deals uh, that uh, we made so far. All right, we have an. We have uh, we had to say goodbye to Peterson, Marcus Olsen Peterson, our starting goalie. Uh, we sold him for two million, two point seven million to Benevento. Not a bad deal because we have uh, we had new players in mind, new goalies in mind. Uh, that's why we had to let him go. We can't have too many goalies, guys. We can't have uh, more than two goal goalies uh, registered in the squad. So uh, we had to you know cash in. We sold Alfred Bakken also to Bodo Glimt for six hundred thousand. Uh, some uh, some of our starting players, uh, the best players uh, in the starting eleven, were kind of disappointed that we sold Alfred Bakken. He, they they were <laughs> complaining and uh, telling me that this uh, this uh, kid was um, having uh, like a bright future. I don't think so. Like I think I made a mistake when I got him. I paid way too much for him. Three hundred thousand was way too much and. Whenever we gave him a chance to play, uh, he always disappointed. As you can see here, 6.3 rating, and he he played uh, seven games for uh, for us this season. I think uh, we made a good decision by selling him. 
And the last one who left us is Vlad Gheorghe. Very short spell for Gheorghe at Asane, guys. We, uh, we got him um, in the beginning of the season. And after six months, we sold him for 3.3 uh, million to Torino. He is a foreigner. He counts as a foreigner in uh, our elite Syrian uh, registration uh, rules. And we can't, we can't have uh, more than nine uh, in the squad. He, uh, he was a starter, but we found a better replacement for him. So we had to uh, also, uh, you know, sell. All right. So these are the players who departed. Now, let's see who joined. All right. Uh, let's see here. You already know Palumbo, Dalby, Agelin, you know. All right. Welcome to... Asane Bergen, John Duran, guys. This is uh, a big, big, big deal for the club. Free agent. We stole this guy as a free agent. Because <laughs> this is a steal, guys. Look at this player right here. Three caps for Colombian. First national squad. Uh, former Villa player. And also Cardiff in championship. Envingado. He started with Envingado, but... The, the skills are unbelievable. For our level, this guy is just a beast. He can play on the right as an inside forward with a little training. Striker, of course, that's his natural role. And, you know, even on the left as a winger whenever you need him. Very, very versatile player. And also a very powerful striker. 16 strength, 16 jumping reach, 14 finishing uh, 13 anticipation, off the ball 13, 13 concentration, 14 acceleration, 15 pace, uh, 186 cm, 23 years old, and a bright future at our club. Definitely in the in you know in the whatever near future we can uh, d consider cashing in on him. Uh, right now, his uh, price tag is between 1.4 million and 3.4 million. You know, but with playing time and if he is uh, enjoying playing for Asane, who knows in the future, maybe uh, teams are going to pay a lot more money for this guy. So we're happy. We're happy with this deal. Uh, Sander Tangvik on a free also, I think on a free or let me see here. Let me double. Nope. 72,000, but almost free. Uh, backup goalie from Rosenborg. A uh, very, very good uh, backup goalie, as you can see here. Uh, 24 years old, so very, very young also. 193 CM. Former under-21 uh, national team inter international. Uh, current ability, 115. So this is our starting goalie, guys. Christopher Klaison from uh, Sarpsborg, I think. Yep, we paid 1.7 million with clauses and everything is going to go to 5 million so uh, very very happy with uh, this uh with this player uh, the, he is currently he is the backup goalie for the national team even though it doesn't say here uh, that um is a uh, international that he has no caps for the first national team uh i discover him honestly i discover him by looking at the norway uh squad norway national team and uh, I checked the current ability. I saw this guy is playing still in LA Syrian. Because this type of players are more lean into joining us. Uh, compared to the ones that are already playing in, uh, in uh, European and other European leagues. Uh, so he accepted our, our offer. It's a step up for him. Because we are playing in Champions League qualifiers. We're playing in Europe. We are the current champions of Norway. So from Salzburg to Asana is a is a big jump for uh, for Klaison. So we are very happy also with uh, this addition. We brought back Elliot Matazo. As you already know, uh, we already uh, purchased him uh, two streams ago, I think. But he just joined us uh, in the summer transfer window. Uh, we paid one million, and uh, with the clauses and everything, is going to go up to three million in the future. Uh, he's definitely a starter for us. Uh, we're going to play him as a defensive midfielder with support duty. Uh, his price tag right now is between 2.8 million and 6.2 million. Uh, under Former under-21 uh, Belgian international. 
and probably who knows in the future is gonna get uh caps for the senior national team too he is a very very good player 137 current ability with uh still with room to grow we got in another colombian guys uh, after john duran we scouted victor arias from millionarios another high high rated uh youngster from uh, colombia this guy at only 20 years old already with a current ability of 127 has a very very bright future uh when we scouted him he was already um monitored by newcastle in england and uh, lazio in italy so we were quicker we were more direct and we got him we paid 1.6 million not a lot that's why it's a bargain from um you know from millionarios a player that is not cheap 697,000 per year salary but definitely in the future we're gonna get our money back he's a little upset because it still is not registered for the uh for the champions league roster we didn't have room for him yet but um i hope i hope if we qualify into the league phase um, we, we're gonna have room for him great great player all right this is how we get to the next level guys like i told you we sold uh players we got a lot of money like over 20 million we had uh, available to spend uh, um, also we had money in wages uh, and we took care of this uh, situation uh, from a mediocre team right now we can we can dream right now uh, also guys another big big name emir dervis kadic joined asane not a cheap one also but look at the current ability 134 uh 23 years old norwegian international guys uh, one cap for norway 733 000 salary per year we're gonna play him as a central midfielder uh we got him from uh leipzig he was owned by leipzig and the last two seasons uh he got loaned out to valencia and stuttgart uh with uh clauses and everything it's gonna go up to 4.2 million but what a player uh, the, the quality the uh i don't know the speed uh determination anticipation work rate marking passing this guy has it all great 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 player i was surprised that he actually <clears throat> decided to join us uh, you know probably he wasn't playing too much for for leipzig and he was annoyed getting loaned out every season he wanted to, so, some stability he wanted to come back uh, home in norway and uh definitely uh, he's uh he's a starter for us now uh, we needed another left back uh we kind of we're st even now i can say we're kind of like soft um in that uh, area left back position alexander anderson not a great addition but current ability 121 not bad uh with a lot of experience in uh, in norway in elite syrian from uh, stabike i think yep stabike we paid uh, a pricey 2.5 million for him uh but he's very versatile that's why i decided to get him because he can play left back with he's not ready yet to play left back but he can play that's why i got him to cover that that spot but he can also play uh multiple positions in the middle he can also play as a striker they say it's a yellow green here but i'm not gonna only if i'm really really desperate and i have no one uh, available then maybe but yeah alexander Anderson, welcome to Asane. Let's uh, go to the next one. Um, yeah, this guy is very, very impressive, guys. Marko Petrovic from Vozdovac. 18 years old, Serbian um, central defender. I'm not. I'm surprised he's not. He doesn't have a cap for for the for the senior national team yet. Look at this guy. Potential. It can go to almost uh he has already four stars can go to five stars who knows in the future already 121 current ability 13 tackling 13 marking 12 heading 18 bravery 16 work rate 18 natural fitness 15 jumping reach 
a little slow, only 10 pace, but he's so young, 18 years old, definitely he will improve on his speed. Uh, ball playing defender, left foot strong, right foot very strong, so he can play either on the left or on the right in our central defense. What a bargain, guys, because we only paid 1 million in. You know, who knows, who knows uh, where this guy can go, because like from, uh, from what we're seeing here, he is a huge, huge talent. Uh, I think he's a wonder kid. I don't know what you guys think, but when I discovered him, I discovered him at the under 21s uh, Serbian national team. So I don't know why he doesn't have a cap yet. But yeah, and uh, we are paying him 455,000 per year at only 18 years old. That's that's really expensive for us. So yeah, um, who else? Uh, this guy, this kid. I just got him just as an emergency backup. Uh, we saw, we sent him to the to the second team, and we brought back Sindre Walla Egeli. I'm kind of disappointed with this deal, to be honest. Um, I um, I offered um, Southampton this loan deal, but you know I didn't know uh, at the time. I didn't know who's gonna join us if we're gonna get covered on every position in up front there on the right on the left. We we're kind of soft. So I had to um, waste 1 million guys for only 4 months. Uh, this guy can play left, can play right. He already played for us for 3 seasons in the past. He uh, would count as a homegrown. And, you know, uh, we are trying to push for the Champions League. That's why I thought, you know, since we're in a good financial position, let's do it one more time. Let's bring him home one more time. Sindre Walla Egeli, welcome back to Asane and the last one but not the least Nikolai Skoglund uh, our future starting advanced forward guys 24 years old 186 Norwegian uh, under 21 international I think because I don't know why it doesn't show here but uh, I remember Nikolai Skoglund playing for the uh, under 21s I don't know why he, they don't show here that he has a cap for them. Uh, anyways, uh, we we got him from uh, Portimonense in uh, Portugal. 2.8 million. But with future clauses, it will go to 3.2 million. Uh, very, very, very good striker. 24 years old. Uh, you know, tall, powerful, strength 14, jumping reach 15, anticipation 14, off the ball 14, finishing 15, first touch 14, heading 14. Uh, I mean, he, this guy, it's he's in his prime. Uh, and I bought him with the um, idea in my mind that, you know, Niku Balac has only a few more months playing for us and he will have to go back to... Uh, Atalanta because uh, this is his third loan with us and definitely we don't have the 8 million that Atalanta are asking so we found a cheaper version and um, as soon as uh, Balac will depart Skoglund is going to be our starting striker welcome to Asane Nikolai Skoglund all right guys this is the update with our transfers now we are ready to play uh, our next game in Elite Syrian, I think. Let's see here. Yep, we're going to play Alessund at home with our backups. And then the big one, Malmo, also at home, but uh, on Brans, uh, Bransbergen Stadium. And hopefully we're going to make history today, guys. Let's press continue. We have uh, one day until our next game in Elysium. We tied odds 1-1, one, one, one of uh, our rivals in Elysium this season. Now we need to keep the distance between us and Bodo Glimt, and also odds actually. They both uh, are chasing us three points difference between us and them. And on the fourth, Lillestrom five points behind. Uh... We're still playing on uh, Varden Amfi. I don't know when we are going to be able to move uh, back to Asane Arena. It's not They're not ready yet with the construction there, with the expanding of our uh, stadium. They said 10 months, I guess. Uh, it's still too early.
All right, game day. August 22nd, 2027. Wow. We're getting deeper and deeper, guys, into this save. We're going strong for the second title in our history. Now uh, we improve the quality of the team. Definitely, uh, we will give it our best to bring it home again. To retain the best seat in the league. Uh, Mario Arbelo Arboleda is a central defender from Colombia that I'm very, very interested in. We scouted him and uh, he didn't agree to join us guys uh, he wanted more money and he said um, he would be interested in joining but uh, we are lacking our we are lacking the financial power you know to bring him so he uh he probably is gonna join inter he has a he has an offer right now 2.1 million from the italians man at only 18 years old he is already 128 current ability that's a wonder kid right there. One cap already for Colombia. Very strong left foot. Fairly strong right foot. Wow. Uh, let's try again. Let's just cock block Inter if we can. Uh, but definitely he's going to say no. Let's see here. Yep. Said no again. Anyways, we don't have enough money. We have only 2 million in the, the 2.8 million in the overall balance and uh, right now um let me adjust the budget here yep we are okay in our wage department we're good we are uh, over 100,000 available we have only uh we have sorry guys I'm <laughs> can't talk sometimes but we are um over no, we're under uh, 130,000 in our wages, so we're good. We're good. Financially, I can't complain. After we sold so many good uh, players and we got so much money, we're still good financially. Um, as you can see here, the familiarity of the tactic is um, a little lower than usual. It's not at 100%. That's because we have a lot of new players in the team, so they need time to adjust. They need time to learn the way we play um so yeah we're gonna use our backups for the allison game i'm gonna just try to to find someone to play um and rest brevik brevik here because he's tired let's see hmm bjorshol is still not ready because he would be the ideal ideal player to um play in this game we still have Gvala injured, we have John Duran injured. Uh, this season we got crippled, guys, crippled by injuries, long-term injuries uh, at the worst time possible. And we're still first, we're still managed to um, to keep our heads up. All right, let's see. Maybe Haugen. All right. We're going to give them um, 45 minutes each. Haugen first half. And Brevik second half. All right. Let's press continue and then check the um, training levels. Jose Silva. Wonder Kid. Oh, yeah. That would be nice. I mean, we don't even have room for this guy. Do we have room? Let me see. How much do they ask for? First of all, let's see. All right, they want 650. Good day to you. Too much. Way too much. This guy is a wonder kid. Ahmed Al Shahrani, Saudi Arabian international, 19 years old, from Victoria Guimaraes. If we would have around 40 million. Uh, we could uh, we could get him. What a player, man. Someday, 
someday we'll get there for now we're just still a small club in europe but the best club in norway that's all that matters for now all right let's check the training levels let's see who is putting in the work butalezi butalezi with a 9.05 rating alexic great great player and uh a very smart deal that we completed in the beginning of the season with the Serbian inside forward is really playing his heart out for for us for Asane Come on, there are some players who are reacting very bad, even if you try to praise them. Alright, seal stud. Alright, this guy is always reacting bad. Dervisadic, Derviskadic, sorry. Uh, still not available. Place are not available. It's a uh, pretty size. No, we can't because they just joined. All right. Let's check for the additional training. Crossing for Alexic. Brevik. Mzimela. Vukcevic. Petrovic. Dalby. A Dalby. Agility and balance. Hector Fort. Endurance for Fouch Hellesvik Silstad Passing for Dervis Kadic Class on Technique Ball control for Haugen Defensive positioning for Anderson. Skoglund. Tanvik. And Kvale. John Duran. Alright. That's it. We're ready. Let's try to get uh, the win and let's try to improve our confidence before we play Malmo. We are the favorites, of course. We're playing in front of the fans. We need to make them happy. Even without playing the starters, guys. And let's play Agali as a winger. Let's answer some questions on the tunnel. And let's start the first game of the stream. Alessund is currently 14th in Elite Syrian. And we need the points. We need the three points desperately.
All right, corner kick for Alessund. Fifth minute of the first half. Big chance here by Sisai. Almost scored with a header. Petrovic for Haugen. Arias. Haugen again. Arias our Metzala. Backup Metzala. Yeah, it's a weird shot. From so far away. We're having a possession. 69%. Seal start with a throw in. Vala Egeli. Back to Seal start. Zimela. Haugen. Good pass here for Allstad. Post. And Skoglun is there to just tap it in. Empty net. First goal for the club for. Nikolai Skoglund. 1-0 for Asane in the 13th minute of the game. The vision of Haugen here with a crazy pass. He's a central defender, but look at that through pass. Oldstad almost scored. The ball hit the post, but Skoglund from the rebound puts it in. And we can relax a little bit. He'll start passing for Umzimela. Umzimela yellow card. And Fouch also. Big, big chance here for Asane and Skoglund. Skoglund, second goal of the game and his overall second goal for the club. What a finish and what a pass. Haugen finds Arias and Arias with an assist. Beautiful assist for our new Norwegian striker. Skoglund, he already leaves his mark. Olstad, Haugen, Mzimela. Petrovic, Falch. Big chance for Alessund. But we survive. Great save by our goalie. We steal the ball in the middle. Mzimela now for Petrovic. Petrovic for Falch. Falch for Egeli. Egeli takes a shot from really far away. And uh, corner kick. Getting closer to halftime here. 2 nothing at home. We're leading, guys. This is good. Good stuff before we're playing Malmo. Andersen, Mzimela. Allstad, back to Andersen. Andersen is going to look for a cross. 
And what a good cross. And Skoglund again. Looking for the hat trick. Hogan, Anderson, Petrovic, Balch, Walla Egeli. Walla Egeli for Skoglund. Skoglund takes a shot and 3 0. Wow. What an introduction for Skoglund in front of the fans. Patrick for, for this beast. Man. Our future number 9. That's why we gave him 99. Because Balac has, uh, has the number so far. But yeah. After 4 months... Skoglund will take over. Halftime, 3 nothing for Atane. Let's praise the players. What a 45 minutes that was. I agree, you've blown them away. Let's start the second half. Fifty-fourth minute, Arias with a free kick on the right. Zimela for Haugen. Haugen inside the penalty box, getting tackled. No penalty. That was a clean one. And now counter attack for Alisson. We need to be careful and not let them get back in the game. And Tangvik with the save. Our backup goalie from Rosenborg. Haugen, Arias, Andresen, Olstad. Back to Andresen. Keeping the possession. And post! Koglund looking for his fourth goal, guys. Wow. He already enjoys playing for us. Arias Skoglund again. Oh my god, this guy. So dangerous. Getting closer to 70th minute when uh, I'm gonna make some subs. Arias. Arias has a great, great game so far. Egeli. All stud header, but way over. Hartsberg with the cross. Alessund, they want to score a goal. And Tangvik, great save. Mzimela, Olstad, Arias. Anderson. O 
Gold stud. Ah, that was that was a waste. Great chance for us to score the fourth goal. All right, let's uh let's make some subs. Old studs. Let's see. Maybe I don't want to risk. No, I don't want to. I don't want to risk anybody from our starting team. Yeah, it's fine. We're gonna keep old stud in. Maybe he recovers. Who knows? Seal stud. We don't have a central defender though. Petrovic. Hmm. You know what? We're not gonna make any changes. We can't. The game against Malmo is way, way more important, so whatever. I guess we're gonna have to sacrifice um, our, our left back here, our starting left back, uh, what's his name, I forgot. Yeah, Haugen. He usually starts on the left. He can also play central defender. But yeah, uh, Brevik is a uh, is a more important uh, central defender. So I guess we're gonna we're gonna try to sacrifice this guy for this game. We had so many injuries, guys, this season. It just crazy. Five minutes left. The game is over. The question is, can we score one more goal? Just for style points. Oh, old stud. Great, great shot. Hit the post, but man, if it would have gone in. Last three minutes. Three minutes of extra time. Walla Egeli. All start again. Great pass for Skoglund. And... Ah, he tried, he tried to score the fourth. That would have been the, one of the best debuts of, uh, of any player that joined us. To score four goals in your first game for the club, that would be crazy. <laughs> Full time, three points. That's that's all it matters, guys. Very very good um, performance. Very nice. We have the confidence needed now to get into this clash with Malmo with the right mentality. 
and we're still keeping the distance in front of odds and bodo glimt and bodo glimt lost no they tied 2-2 at sarsborg so five points in front of bodo glimt and three points in front of odds and um, we have 12 games left in the league Let's praise Koglund for his hat-trick. We're one hour into the stream, guys. We're gonna go for two hours. Two hours stream today. Maybe a little over two hours. We'll see. We'll see how uh, how it's gonna go. All right, let's put our starters right now. Ideally, it would be to start with Brevik and Petrovic, but Petrovic is tired. He played uh, against Alessun, so we'll see if he recovers in time. Alexic on the right, Helesvik on the left, Nikubalac starting because uh, Koglund is not registered. Klaesen or Klesen in on the goal. Vukicevic is going to be on the bench. Uh, Butalezi. As a Metzala, we have Eder Viskadic as a CM with support, and Elliot Matazo as a deep uh, as a defensive midfielder with support. We need Palumbo on the bench also, and Hector Fort. Yeah. For seal stud. All right, on the left, that's the problem. On the left, guys, the left back situation. I guess Haugen. Let's see if he recovers. We have three tired players. Niku Balac, who is still struggling. Alright, let's press continue and see where we are uh, when it's time. When it's game time. We're two days away. This is literally the, the most important game for the club right now. History. We can make history, guys, if we qualify to the Champions League league phase. We never played in the league phase. We're a small club still. We need to improve our reputation and by playing in the Champions League league phase it will help a lot. Also financially, as you already know, 14 million are in our pockets if we manage to qualify. Come on, boys. We lost the first one, 2-1. But with a great performance, if we put on a great performance here, we're in. Pixel, thank you for joining, man. Yep. <laughs> we need to believe. Like Ted Lasso. How are you today, man? 
Congrats to Atletico Nacional. That was a crazy game. Lagesen. One day away. I just need my players to, to recover. Um, the energy is really low right now after that... Uh, a game in um, in uh, Elysian took a lot of energy out of them, so they're still at, I don't know, in their 80s or 90s, let's double check, yeah, still Haugen, 71, damn, Petrovic, 81, and Niku Balac, 80, this is not good. John Duran is still injured, for how long, let's see, tomorrow, so he's gonna be ready But we'll see his fitness levels, if they're going to be at least at 85. I would give him playing time. First leg is at home on Wednesday. Okay. But yeah, man. 3-2. That was crazy. Alright, so the transfer window is almost closed, a few more, I think it's a week, let's see, let's press continue, mm, yeah, it's exactly one week away, but we did our, we did everything, we did our, um, our business, we don't care any about you know bringing players or selling players. We're satisfied with uh, all our deals. We did the press conference. Huge pressure on us this game. We need to overturn the 2-1 advantage that Malmo has on us. Antonio Nusa, this guy is not bad. But the price tag. Fairly strong left foot, very strong right foot. Damn. Not bad. How much? Oh, God. Starting price 5.5 million. No thanks. Hey, best Murph, how are you, man? John Ramirez. But Pixel man, what do you uh, what do you think about John Duran right here? Your boy. Your boy signed for Asane. Let's see how many goals he scored in Premier League. He scored four goals in Premier League in 13 appearances. Oh, and Another four here in the, his very first season when they paid 19 million for him. Damn. Yeah, man. They paid 19 million for 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 John Duran. Are you kidding me? And we got him for free. What a steal. What a steal. But since he he signed with us. He got injured like every game. After every game, boom, injury. Boom, boom, boom. And if we're looking at this, injury susceptibility, whatever, I can't pronounce this. Um, high, very high. Let's check the injury history right here. Look at this. And I didn't, I, I, my mistake, I didn't um, check. His injury history before I sign him. Major hip injury in 2025. Two months. Four weeks. Again. Groin strain. And two weeks. Pull knee ligament. Um, after we sign him. So. 
Not a great start for John Duran here, but he's almost ready to come back one day away. So let's press one more continue. If we decide to sell him in the future, definitely at least at least five or six million we'll get for John Duran, maybe even more, depending of how he's gonna perform for us. But my plan is to um, to play him as an inside four on the right. He's a left-footed guy, and Alexic is uh, leaving us at the end of the season. He's just a loney. And what better replacement than John Duran? With a little training, John Duran can do it. On the right, cutting inside with his left and banging goals. 126 current ability, it can go to 127. And great potential though, he can still, he can still improve. He's a star elite Syrian player, so... As you can see guys, we're going... Slowly we're going to the next level here. We're not a joke anymore. We never played in the Champions League playoff. This is the very first time for us reaching this stage. We are ready. Let's check now the fitness levels. Come on. Ah, oh, God. And Haugen, of course, is not recovered. 76%. And Balac struggling with 84%. John Duran is back, but only available for 30 minutes. Walla Egeli, 86. Man, a lot of players are tired. It is what it is. Let's go, guys. Petrovic is almost there. 88%. Mzimela. We're trying to, to, to train Mzimela to play as a right back. Because Hector Forte is gonna also leave us um, his loan with uh, us is gonna end at the end of the season from Juventus. He's gonna go back to Italy. So Inziella now um, he's uh, he's uh, he's a backup. But if we train him on the right as a as a right back, he would be a starter. He can do it. He can. Right now he's a uh, he's on dark green as a advanced wing back here. Wing back is already accomplished. We need to, to train him to play a little um, a little behind. Alright. God, come on. Come on, let's get let's get the win. Let's go. Yes, I agree, Best Murph. Let's get our revenge. Few questions before we start this historic game on the Bran Stadium. We knocked out Slavia Praga. We're gonna we're gonna knock out Malmo too. Come on, guys. Of course, we play on a packed stadium.
It's on. Let's go. We need to start attacking as soon as possible. And I hope for no red cards. I hope for no injuries. We can't afford those now. Now it's just the worst time possible for, for that to happen. Corner kick. Fifth minute. Hellesvik. Come on, guys. Ah, Counter-attack for Malmo. We steal the ball. Dervis Kadic on the right. Passing to Alexic. Alexic takes a shot and another corner kick. Hellesvik again. Brevik, oh, so close, so close. Oh, you used it too? Yeah, it's a, it's a decent tactic, I'm telling you. I just uh, want to give, give it one full season, you know, but I like it, I like it. Hellesvik, I hope uh, the tactic works for you too. Tenth minute, chance for Malmo here to, to score. Let's see if we can steal the ball and counter. Come on guys, survive. Don't make mistakes, that's all I'm asking. Nadjelkovic. Come on. Good. Good pressure. Oh, shit. Oh, snap. Come on. Block. Block the cross. Rossi. Oh, bus. Oh, my God. Big, big chance for Malmo. That's good, Besmurf. Keep keep playing the same the same uh, tactic until the end of the season, man, and see draw the line and see where you are, and compare, you know, compare with the other one. All right, eleven minutes. We need to score a goal. We need to score a goal as soon as possible. They have the advantage. Uh, guys, we don't want to get dominated at home by Malmo. We're better than Malmo. And we need to show it. Ah, uh, Nedeljkovic. Ooh. Man, I thought it's a penalty. I don't know, it gave me the, the wrong vibe there, that tackle. So far, we are getting dominated, guys. Um, I feel the players are... Oh my god. I feel the player is really, really tired. This is what I'm seeing so far. We, we're not running enough. We're not aggressive enough. Haugen. Passing to Klaeson. Brevik. Brevik for Matazo. Matazo. Dervis Kadic. Dervis Kadic for Alexic. And they win the possession back. Can we steal? Yes! Butelezi passing to Balac. One on one chance. Balac! Come on, Balac, you asshole. Big, big chance for Asane. 19th minute of the game. We could have scored the first. Dervis Kadic for Hellesvik. Wow. It would have been a turning point that that goal but now it's 6.5 6.4 we need to demand more from everyone come on guys we can't blow this
shit. Run! Good. Hector Ford, Petrovic, Formatazo, Dervis Kadic, pass. Good. Butelezi, Butelezi, Helesvik, one on one chance. This guy's super fast. Come on. Uh, second big chance. Second big chance in a matter of few minutes. Haugen, man, so many players are playing like shit. God. Why now? Why you choose this game to, to suck? Matazo. Come on, Matazo. That's why we're paying you the big bucks to make the difference. Elisvik. Butalezi. Butalezi. Getting tackled and we lose possession again. Five minutes before halftime. Come on, guys. Hector Fort. Yeah. Matazo tackling. Still Malmo with the possession. Yes. Oh, God, no. No. Huh. And we're lucky. We need some luck, guys. We need some something to, to go our way this game. Otherwise I don't see I don't see how we can win this. Ten shots to five. The XG is in our favor. They have the possession. Um keep it up. Oh shit. And we're done. Fuck. I said very good first half. Oh god. And I I messed it up. How though? Cause like I mean, I wanted to just imp like you know, let them know we're satisfied with whatever happened first half. And Jesus, man. Eh. I think we blew it. really really bad reaction by everyone everyone is on red so usually when this is happening you're done the confidence of the players is really shaken but i will take the blame for it if we don't qualify it's my fault because i fucked it up sorry for the language guys but i'm so pissed off and corner kick now for malmo i'm about to overload anyways Let's survive this. Yes. All right. Uh, we need to take out somebody. Uh, Haugen is really struggling. So I'm going to play Brevik on the left. Yeah, man. I thought they, they will uh, respond in a positive way if I, you know, if I say good things. And of course, everyone got pissed off and now I don't know what to do. So, okay, Vukicevic and Petrovic in the center. Uh, Brevik 630 also. Nope, let's uh, discard everything and let's um, 
Let's see what's gonna happen. Demand more from the squad. And let's overload. We have to. We have to overload. It really sucks, man. Only a miracle can can give us the uh, the win. Oh shit! Come on, guys! Come on! Push, push! Hector Fort, Hector Fort, Dervis Kadic. Come on! We need a we need a helping hand here. If they score one goal, it's over. Then we need two goals. Just to go in extra time. Sesai. Rodrigo Martins. And Klesson. We're going to give John Duran the chance as soon as uh, the 70 minute mark hits. Because Niku Balac is struggling. Like six three. Yep, I believe Niku Balac is uh, not enjoying big games. I've uh, noticed when we play important games, he's always struggling. All right, so let's see. John, are you ready, man? Are you ready? Come on, John Duran, for for the win. And Brevik 6 3. Yet. Okay, Vukicevic, Petrovic. A lot of players are. A lot of players are sucking. Helesvik. Vukicevic. Dervis Kadic. Come on. Yes! Oh my god, what a goal by Dervis Kadic, and we're back in it. Dervis Kadic with a goal lot, so we are overloading, guys, so anything can happen right now, because we are very, very attacky, but we can also make big, big mistakes. But look at this strike. Finally. Even though I blew up the, the the pep talk the players are still responding in a positive way on the on the pitch petrovic vukicevic haugen yellow card come on butalezi helesvik helesvik john john duran Almost, almost scored. Ha, ah, corner kick for Malmo. Come on, boys, survive, survive. Please survive. Who? If we score one more goal, if we score one more goal, it will be unbelievable. We're making history. Come on, Vukicevic, Butalezi, getting tackled. Vukicevic back in possession. Passing to Helesvik. Helesvik tries to find John Duran. Come on, come on. Fight. Fight, guys. Vukicevic. Matazo, Matazo for Butalezi, Butalezi in the box, pass it, pass it! Helesvik! Ah. We're still in possession. That's it. I feel like John Duran is gonna score, guys. I feel it. Come on. Good, good steal by Hector Fort. Alexic, Alexic, 
Or who? Malmo is pushing. 70th minute. Good. We're blocking. Counter. Come on. Hellesvik. John Duran. Hellesvik. Don't waste this. Don't waste this. And ball. All right. Um. Ah. Let me double check here. What can we do? What We need to be very efficient. The last 20 minutes of the game. We have Haugen yellow card. Very tired. We have Dervis Kadic. We don't have a left. Okay, Silstad. God. Who can play it on the left? Petrovic, no. Vukicevic, no. Hector Fort. Right only. Silstad can do it, but he's also right footed. Mzimela. Right footed, and he doesn't know the role. I'm very, very afraid that this guy Haugen being so tired and already yellow card, he can make a bad tackle and it's over. Getting the red card, you know. Dalby, can you do it? Right footed also. Mother. Olstad. Yeah, I told you. I, I wrote to you last night when you um, showed me the screenshot, Besmurf, with your 3-1 three, three win over Atalanta. I saw Dervis Kadic scored for you, and uh, yeah, yesterday we uh, we got him. Great player, man. But I don't know what to do here. Honestly. I have to leave it into the FM God's hands. <laughs> Cancel. Actually, no. Let's confirm. And now, let's pray. Nineteen minutes left. We need to score one more goal. Rossi with the cross. Petrovic, Butalezi there. Come on, jump, Haugen. Oh my God. Haugen is exhausted. Clayson. Oh, you didn't see it? Ah, that's fine. Okay, Butalezi with a steal. Good pass for Hellesvik. Hellesvik! Yes! Yes! 72nd minute. The stadium is erupting, guys. 2 nothing for Asane with... Less than 18 minutes. Oh my god. Golazzo. Butalesi there with a great assist. And what a finish by the youngster. Helesvik, we loan him from Bodo Glimt. And now we need to hold the lines. Wow. 10 minutes. Alright, so now we have... One, two, three, four yellow cards. God. If we hold the lines, we're into the Champions League, guys. We did this guy. Yeah, we did. What about Hellasvik? Man, I really don't know what to do now. Now, fourth. Okay, should we play Mzimela? I think we should play Mzimela. Or fort. Ah. And seal stud for Haugen. Yep. We need we need a fresh fresh body there on the left. We need a little energy. Last ten minutes. I I think seal stud can can do it. Can do the job. Come on. Uh, Alexic on the right. 650. Let's do Egeli. As a winger. Come on. 
Last 10 minutes. Two nothing. Still stud. Vukicevic. Petrovic. Wale Egeli. Wale Egeli. Dervis Kadic. John Duran. What did I say? Why did I say, it, guys? John Duran. 3 nothing, Champions League, here we go, guys. Finally, some justice. Man. John Duran. That's why we brought you here. Oh, my God. We're making history. few minutes left, guys. The champagne is ready. The fireworks are ready. What a performance by the players, even though they were freaking tired and exhausted. Malmo are desperate right now. They thought they, they thought the the two, two one advantage from the first game was enough for them. But Butalesi was the game changer in the, in uh, in this game, guys, with the assisting, with the interceptions. few seconds left come on ref it's over we're in the champions league guys finally asane is in champions league 14 million and the chance to play against the big boys what a comeback oh my god crazy crazy game what what a game a lot of pressure on everyone, but in the end, we did it. We did it, guys. Excellent win. After I blew up the the um, the pep talk, it didn't matter because the players really, really got the message. They just were frustrated. Man, it took us six years to get to this point. Six long. And hard seasons. So we knocked out Slavia Praga. We knocked out Malmo guys. I hope we're going to have a decent run in uh, in Champions League. <laughs> you blew it more. Yeah, well, you know, it's 50-50. It's when this happens, it's 50-50. Sometimes... You never know. Sometimes, like like in my case, you get lucky. But I tell you, most of the times, like when you blow up the the, the you 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 ruin the pep talk at halftime, uh, it's gonna go bad. So, man, what a goal by John Duran! What a goal by John Duran! Whenever we needed him the most, I gave him thirty minutes, and it paid off. He's not training well at all, 580, but that's because he was injured for so long. And he made history. That's why the big players are paid the big bucks, guys, because of this type of games. They change the course of, of a game in a split of a second. Dervis Kadic with an absolute stunner, that, that strike from over 30, 30 meters, um, started the show. Let's praise him. Wow. And let's not forget Hellesvik, our loney inside forward from um, Bodo Glimt. What a crazy, crazy performance by this kid too. Only 17 years old and scoring at the highest level. We're sad to see him go because he has uh, only four months left from the loan, but great, great player. Man, what a relief, I'm telling you. Now, I don't care what's going to happen. Even if we're not winning the league, 
at least we got it we got to the champions league guys for the first time i don't care what's gonna happen i'm gonna play the backups just because we need to protect the starters now we need to rest them And wow, we're gonna play Anderlecht, Bruges, Liverpool, Porto, Southampton, Marseille, Chelsea, and Napoli. <laughs> and at home, we're gonna host Anderlecht, Liverpool, Marseille, and Napoli. We're gonna play at Chelsea, at Southampton, at Porto, and at Bruges. Yep. It's uh it's gonna be it's gonna be very very entertaining but also very difficult and we got the money we got the money guys now definitely we can say we're at the next level we have four months left four months left until november guys i mean a little over four months maybe five months to win this competition We'll see if we can do it because in uh, November the FM24 is going to come out. So Very hard, very hard schedule, Bess Murphy. Yep, I agree, man. Wow. Honestly, I gave up when, when I, I saw the red... And uh, the the reaction of the players at the halftime, I thought, yeah, we're we're done. And the way we played first half, just I had no hopes. Crazy. All right, guys, we're gonna play one more game today. We're gonna play Lillestrom away, and uh, we're gonna end the stream. One of the greatest streams we had with Asane because today is a very very big day for the club congratulations to everyone involved not the coach because the, the coach was not at his best <laughs> today but it's okay i'm allowed i'm allowed to have one of these days you know I believe that the best player of that game was Butelezi. If we're going to the stats, I want to double check. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Best Murph. And uh, thank you for being here for this big, big moment, man, for the club. This is huge. I was so excited, you know, to, to reach the stage, the playoff. And now... Even better, we got into the league phase. Um, let me see here. 15 shots to 12 for us on target. 7 to 5, pretty close. The XG in our favor. 45 to 55 possession for them. 55. Uh, and let me double check. Butelezi. Dervis Kadic. They're saying Dervis Kadic was the man of the match. Hmm. Yeah, Butalezi and Dervis Kadic, both of them, they had an assist. And Dervis Kadic had a goal also, that's why. So yeah, great, great performance by both of them. And that's why we paid so much money, guys. We paid, as, um, as I showed you before, we paid 1.8 million and it's going to go to 4.2 million. Um... For Dervis Kadic, we got him from Leipzig. And Butalezi, Butalezi is a wonder kid, full on wonder kid. This is the, his description right now, wonder kid. And his skills are just increasing with every game he plays. Uh, 10 caps for the South African uh, national team. And we got him just for 600,000 from Kaiser Chiefs. Thank you for uh, for making it, Bad Smurf. No worries, man. Whenever you can. 
Um, so that, that, that's why I told you guys, South African market is one of the best markets uh, for small teams. When you start a small, small team save, always, always search South Africa because they have a bunch of good players. If um, if you go into into the under 21s, always check for players. 17 years old, 18 years old, young players, and um, you'll, you'll have a chance to find Wonder Kids there. Or even borderline Wonder Kids, it's just crazy. We already got um, Umzimela, we already got Butelezi, uh, Umsomi, Umsomi who we just sold this season um, for 18.5 million or 18.75 million to Burmet, Msomi, South Africa, 500k, huge profit. South African market is my favorite market, and second is Croatia. Croatia, like when I used to coach in Romania, Croatia was my favorite. You save so much money by, you know, having free loans from this country. And then if you go to South Africa, they they give you wonder kits for almost nothing. 300k, 400k, or they loan you good players, you know. It's always, always very, very good to, to take a look at these countries. Serbia also. Two days away and we're playing Lillestrom. And this is going to be a very, very difficult game because we have to play the, the, the backups. Uh, our starting team is really, really tired. We're three points ahead of odds, so... We can't slip up. We're gonna have to make a mix, actually. We have to start with the, with the backups and then slowly kind of bring in some starters if we, need, if we wanna have a chance in this game because Lillestrom is very, very strong at home. We're very close to the end of the transfer window, the summer transfer window. It was a very successful, um, very success successful summer for us. We brought in big names. We improved a lot our levels, and now. We can um, definitely dream big in Champions League. We're going to increase our reputation as a club because playing in the biggest competition in, in Europe automatically is going to improve our reputation and that's going to help us in the future into bringing quality players and big names into the club. So yeah, this tactic is uh, is good. This tactic is uh, really good. If we win the league again, and we also already qualify for the Champions League, I can definitely say um, this tactic works wonders. And my friend Vio Quaresma, again, if you're watching this, thank you so much. This is <laughs> this helped the team tremendously, man. I'm gonna post uh, this stream on YouTube also, guys. If you're if you're new, if you're watching my stream for the first time, I also have a YouTube channel. I also have a Discord channel. You can always subscribe and join. All right, let's do the press conference. Keep it positive, like always.
Yeah. So we're three points in ha in front of odds. Five points in front of Bodo Glimt. Usually, odds can keep up for for the whole season. Like they always like they always do good up until the last five or six uh, games of the season. I'm more concerned about Bodo Glimt, to be honest. They are the real danger. This is season six. We're, you know, we're getting uh, into the second part of the season. We have 12 games, actually. 12 games left from the Elite Syrian. And now we need to push. We need to push because uh, definitely Bodoglimp will. So they can't afford to lose the title again. They lost the title last season in front of us. And now definitely they will push and try to retain their seat in... Uh, in Elite Syrian, the best seat. All right, let's see how we're gonna line up. Hector Fort. Okay, let's play Umzimela. Milios, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, man, we are officially in the Champions League league phase. <laughs> we just beat Malmo in the playoffs, man. And Asane is in the Champions League. Let's see here. Who else? Who else can play? Niku Balac is very tired. John Duran. All right, let's play John. We made it, man. Yep, we had to like really, really suffer, but we made it. <laughs> Finally. Hard work always pays off. <laughs> and what about Nikolai Skoglund, guys? Our future striker. When Balac is going to go at the end of the season, Nikolai Skoglund is going to be our starting striker. We got him from Portimonesh in Portugal for 2.8 million with clauses. He's going to go to 3.2 million. A Sporting de Portugal prospect and now an Asane striker oh yeah now now we are next to the big boys yeah let's play Wale Egeli on the left Eric Haugen who can we play on the left as a winger wing back Oh yeah, we uh, we already know. Uh, let's see here. Um, inbox. Uh, we have already the schedule. Schmilios. Let me see. They released the schedule. Right here. Anderlecht, Bruges, Liverpool, Porto, Southampton, Marseille, Chelsea and Napoli. <laughs> so if you guys are going to be around... Uh, on these dates, you you live pretty close to the stadium, so just drop by. You're going to be entertained. <laughs> and don't forget that coffee, man. Bring that cup of coffee. Alright, let's see here. Who else can we... Ah, Vale is not back yet. <laughs> it's going to be rough. <laughs> yep. So Haugen is very, very tired. I don't know if he can play this game. But Brevik, yeah, Brevik a better option. Let's play Brevik. Oh, we have Anderson. I forgot, totally forgot. We have Anderson, Brevik, Petrovic, Umzimela. Actually, I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna beat Lillestrom. Butalezi, Victor Arias will play this one. And we're gonna rest Butalezi. <laughs> yes, got to keep the coach happy. <laughs> Man, I almost messed it up because at halftime, 
I uh, praised the players and um, they got a, ne a negative reaction. All of them, they were on red. They got angry at halftime with my pep talk. So I thought it's over. It's done. We played so bad first half. And uh, I thought we are really done. But somehow, man, just uh, they, they pulled themselves to, to the, together and they won. So I'm not going to take credit for, for that result. All right. So, yeah, I think this is it. This is a starting lineup. We're going to check the training levels before we start the last game of the stream, guys. Yeah, man, usually, because uh, I was telling Bessmer the same thing, usually when you do that, 90% of the times it, it's going to go bad. You're going to lose the game, but some sometimes you get lucky. And I did some, some uh, really quick um, subs in the 65th minute. I started to like do some, some, some subs. I also started overloading and um, asked for the player to, to give more, you know, in the game. And probably because I did that, some things changed. I don't know, but I got lucky. That was lucky. Many, many times when I fucked up the, the pep talk, man. It's, yeah, just, uh, I lost, so. So, about the betting league, you guys let me know Friday or Saturday, whenever you guys find uh, good games, let me know the last betting league stream for this month is gonna either be on uh, Friday or Saturday, because Sunday I have a game. So, I hope we can find some decent games for for the weekend, you know. Alright, uh, one more continue and then we're checking the training levels. And today Norway is playing, right? Is it today? I think it it's today. Oh yeah, I got really really lucky. I'm telling you, like everyone was on red with bad reactions like And like I said, the first half we played like shit, we got dominated, so Cyprus, okay. Man, I feel bad for Norway losing that uh, that game against Scotland. Now their chances are kind of low to qualify. Scotland is not easy, man. Like they have good players. But you did you guys see Romania yesterday? I don't know if you guys paid attention if you watched the game or the highlights. I watched the whole freaking game so that was a football manager 100 football manager story like you know those type of games when you dominate for 89 to 90 minutes you have at least seven or eight big big chances to score and from those eight at least three are one-on-one -on -one with the goalie it was two nothing at halftime for switzerland we got trashed, like, the possession was almost 80%. Yep, the possession was almost 80% for Switzerland. And in the 89th and 90th minute, Mihaila scored two goals and we tied the game. Dude, that was the most unfair freaking uh, point that we, we won. We were just playing like shit for the whole, for the whole game. And Switzerland is way, way better than us. We just stole, stole that game. Pretty size Duran. Come on, man. Train better. FM'd, exactly. We FM'd Switzerland. <laughs> 
but just like we looked like an amateur team for the whole game we didn't run we were losing the ball all the time we couldn't pass we couldn't like you know keep the possession all two two touches and then we were losing the ball and the whole game switzerland they played they toyed with us you know they, they were just not taking us seriously and that's why that's why we tied the game because they were just too relaxed you know too like ah oh, we got this you know and sometimes it goes the other way yeah in real life it happens more than you think best Murf. and i'm telling you i'm doing that strategy that i that i that i uh, showed you on uh, on discord best Murf. and i have four or five days uh, no four days with profit every single day profit every single day profit reactions <laughs> I mean, come on, Norway is better than Cyprus, dude. They, they are the favorites. All right, we're ready. Let's start the last game of the stream, guys. Let's end the stream with a win. But it doesn't matter. After all, the big win was our game against Malmo. Now it's just... Um, it's going to be just an extra if we get... Even a tie here, actually, it's not bad against Lillestrom. I know it's so hard to win here. We always, always struggle against it. I think we never beat Lillestrom aw away. Never. So, this is going to be really, really tough. Haaland hat trick today. I hope so. I hope so. I really like Haaland, so... Yeah, I feel bad for, for him because... Um, a big player like Haaland should, should always uh, play in the biggest competitions. Like, you know... Even for the national team, he should be in the European Championship, he should play uh, in the World Cup, you know. Walla Egeli already got a yellow card. John Duran here. In the 8th minute, hit the post. Damn. John Duran. Lillestrom is not going to go easy on us. Petrovic. Mzimela. Our new right back. With a long ball for John Duran. Matazo. Arias. Dervis Kadic. Alexic. Mzimela again. Burns. Good. Good. Uh, we're keeping a possession. Dervis Kadic again. This is what Romania should have played yesterday. This type of football. <laughs> uh oh, Alexic. Ah, blocked shot. Zimela. Oh, Dervis Karic with another great, great strike. Yeah, Kvarashkelia. Yep. Same thing, same story with him too. I agree, Besmurf. Georgia. But see, Haaland doesn't have a bad squad behind him. Norway is not, not a bad team. Actually, they're a good team. It's just 
the problem with uh, the, the starting 11 of Norway, in my opinion, is that they don't have enough games played um, with their clubs. Germany, Colombia today. Yeah, it's a huge game. It's a, just a friendly, but yeah, it's a, always entertaining. Germany and Colombia are big teams. Like, for example, Leo Ostigard. I like Leo Ostigard. He's a good central defender, but he he was a backup for the whole season for Napoli. You know, so they have good players, but, you know, they didn't play too many games this season. I already did some betting and I won. Uh, I'm already fifteen dollars in profit. I need five more dollars to go with my twenty daily twenty dollars. I I'm not greedy, man. I just want to take it slow, you know. Twenty dollars here, twenty dollars there. At the end of the week, you draw the line. I put a pause on my um, on my pre bets, you know, because this strategy that I'm using right now uh, gives me the chance to actually watch the game and not place my bet before I see how the players are performing, you know. So, it's very risky, but, you know, having 10 bets available and doing the Martingale, but not the, the official Martingale, I just do, I raise it $2, $4, $6, $8, $10, $12, $14, $16, $18, and $20. 10 bets. And you juggle with the odds, you know, with with each bet lost, you you increase your stake and you juggle with the with the odds too. You raise the odds also. I uh, I already placed three uh, no two bets this morning and both of them hit. And that's why I stopped and then I started streaming and I'll tell you which which ones I I won so far. Um. Let me see here. I have it on the app. So, Japan, Peru. Both teams to score. I won that one at plus 220. $2 stake. Uh, a Newcastle Olympic and Edgeworth FC. Both teams to score also at $2 plus 155 uh, odds. So, both of them hit. Yesterday... Uh, no, not not yes. Yesterday or no Sunday, I won um, the last one that I uh, bet before today. It was uh, Canada and United States. Uh, a goal scored in the first 15 minutes. It hit. USA scored in in the 11th minute at plus 300 almost odds. So I like it so far. Because you're not going to lose 10 in a row very often. You really have to be a really bad at betting to lose 10 bets like this in a row. If you if you watch a little bit the game, if you watch the graph a little bit and you know you, you have a little knowledge about the teams, you're not going to lose 10 in a row. So by betting small, but having those big odds, like the high odds, at some point, yeah, you're going to win it. And then if you're not greedy... Small gains each day are going to matter, man. But we'll see. We'll see how this strategy works. Uh, dominated possession. Let's start the second half. All right, we need to score a goal here. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. You just have to look at the odds. It doesn't matter what type of bet it is. It can be both teams to score or over 0 0.5 goals in the first half. It matters the odds. 
and um, the time when you put the bet. And there you go. Finally, Walla Egeli. First goal for the club since he came back. 1-0 away at Lillestrom. Beautiful strike. And also with this strategy, with the Martingale strategy that I'm doing. With my Martingale, because that's not uh, the actual Martingale. The actual Martingale, you have to double up with every losing bet. I'm not doing that. I'm just doing every... With every loss, I'm doing $2. That's it. I raise it by $2. But um, with this Martingale strategy, you have a, a bigger chance at the end of the day to, to, to get your money back and to get profit compared to the pre-bets. When you, you have losing days and losing days and then one winning day here, winning day there, and the, 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 the gains that you make are so small and you have to wait so long for... for uh, to make a profit, you know. And I really like to place live bets. That's my addiction. I love live bets. And with the pre-bets, you, you, I feel like you're not in control with pre-bets. Because you don't know how the players are going to perform. You don't know if they're going to have a bad day. But with the live betting, you know, you see... You have a chance to see the game actually if you if you can watch it on your phone or on any device. And also you have that graph on Sofa Score. You already have your knowledge a little bit, you know. So you can judge and um, decide which type of bet are you gonna place. So it's it's risky, but you know betting small in the beginning it's the best. You know, even if you lose, let's say you have a losing day, you're going to lose, uh, the most you're going to lose if you lose 10 in a row is $100. But I don't think you're going to lose 10 in a row. You have to be really bad to lose 10 in a row. And every time when you lose, you raise, right? But when you win, you go back to $2. You go back to $2, you took your money back, you made some profit. So go back to two dollars and start all over again until you make your twenty dollar profit and boom Walla Egeli two nothing with 15 minutes left from um, from the game and it might be an offside <laughs> yep offside ah he, I think he likes it better on the left he plays uh way better on the left than on the right Egeli Maybe, I don't know, if you guys want and if you have time, let me know. And if you want to see one session when I do this Martingale, uh, this Martingale stuff, um, we can do it one time live so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Mzimela. Dervis Kadic. Matazo. Oh, Matazo. Biaganski with the save. 10 minutes left. Yeah, I might do it. You know, I might do it. We just need to have like um, a day with, with good games, you know. Because I don't... Because I can do... I can do it on my phone, right? Like, I usually do it on my phone because I... You know, I don't stay in front of a computer for hours, but when you're doing it on your phone, anytime you can place a bet, right? You just check really quick and then you see what games are on and you just... But while if I do it live on, on the stream, we need to have some good games at playing at the same time or within the, the two hours, three hours of the duration of the stream. Because otherwise, it's not going to work, you know? Because you can't, you can't just... Uh, watch me for five six hours to uh, <laughs> to see when I make the the, the twenty dollar profit. Cause it can take a few hours or it can take twenty minutes. Oh my God, really, really, dude! Right now, 
in the 84th minute own goal look at this Diaby passing to Solberg and Matazo own goal let's see what can we do here need to make some subs John Duran is struggling we're gonna put Skoglund in for Victor Arias let's do Butelezi and we're gonna overload also Matazo 6-4 okay let's take out Matazo Mzimela is he playing good all right uh, Zimela for Matazo and then Dalby Yeah, definitely. We need to decide a day with good games, you know. Like, I can do it. Uh, I don't know, because, like, we have how many games w w uh, they play today in the European Championship? They play, like, four or five. And um, funny thing, the sports book that I'm using, that I'm, you know, using currently, the M B Bet MGM doesn't have the European Championship games. They have only the... The friendlies. That's so funny. Last two minutes. We're dropping points here as I expected. We never beat Lillestrom away, guys. Never. Never, ever. 11 games today. Oh, wow. 845. On my bet MGM, there's only the friendly friendly games. I'll I'll show you right after I finish the uh, the game. I don't know why they don't have the European Championship. Because, you know, um, I can use a different sports book, but I have to withdraw my money from this one and putting it's a it's a, it's a bit of uh, of a work to use DraftKings. So I'd rather just not do it. I just, you know, play the friendlies instead of just um, withdraw the money. It's it's a it's annoying. Because uh, DraftKings has pretty much all the games, all the big games. Bet MGM is good with with the club games, like the um, the club competitions. They they have all all the games from all the leagues. But the international, that's when uh, DraftKings is better. Yeah, it is what it is. Like, for example, yesterday I couldn't bet on Romania. That was so annoying. I, I wanted to bet that both teams will score. I don't know, because <laughs> the odds were going crazy in favor of Romania. I mean, uh, there was like 300, plus 300 for Romania to score a goal yesterday, right? So imagine if I would have I placed a bet, you know, in the 92nd minute. And 89th and 92nd minute scored two goals, so... Would have been a winning bet. Come on. Come on. And that's an offside. Nope. No, it's not. And look at the time, guys. Look at the time. Skoglund again on the score sheet. And for the first time, we beat Lillestrom away. Look at this. Dalby, 17 years old, right back. Finding Skoglund. 101 with the goalie. Three points are going with us. 
Back to Bergen. And no offside, they say. Wow. Koglund, three games for uh, Athane, four goals already. Andresen took a shot, deflected. Come on, ref. It's already past five minutes. Come on. Oh! Brevik! Yes, me too, Shmilias. I love those goals too, man. But 3-1. Look at this corner here. Umzimela. Brevik. With the header. Man, we look really good. The confidence is sky high in our squad right now. 94th and 95th, yep. Asana is cruising to a, another historic title. Let's hope Bodo Glimt choked again. Very satisfying win for you. Excellent and surely deserve this win. I'm so proud of the team. Look at this. Let's see. Yep, five points. No, they won. Ah, one nothing. But odds, odds, guys. Tied Brown at home. So now we're five points in front of Bodoglin. What did I tell you about odds? They can never go the distance. They always, at some point, they're gonna give up on the fight. And now it's just us and Bodoglin again until the end. 11 games left. But we have a five points advantage. And now we have a way better team than in the first part of the season because. We um, we transfer a lot of good players. Um, let's do the press conference. And before I finish the stream, guys, I'm gonna go on my sports book and show you what I'm talking about. Let me see if I can do that. Let me see here, really quick. I'm just gonna get into my bet MGM. All right, um, let me see what I can do here. Bet tracker. Okay, all right, so we are in my sports book account, Bet MGM. So today's bet today uh today games right soccer we're going to the schedule as you can see there's no games for the um the qualifiers Oh they do have it They do have it Today 145 Yesterday they didn't freaking have it and today they have it why Or maybe you can you can bet, but not live though, because always when I'm trying to to place live bets on uh, Euro 2024, they don't have it, man. They don't have it available. Yesterday I would have bet the shit out of Romania game. Yeah, they only have four, but even this four, it's not. The, the, you can bet live. Yesterday I couldn't do it. Let's do the calendar. Let's see yesterday. Do they have it? See, they don't have the yesterday ones. Hmm. Live. Burundi, Namibia, 3 2. Halftime, Ethiopia, Malawi. Like, for example, I'm just going to give you an example, right? Uh, look at the odds for one more goal until the end of the game, right? You go. Uh, Plus 270, over 
5.5 goals, right? So you start you start with two dollars, right? Let's let's just do two dollars, and the return is seven dollars and forty cents. So you make a five dollar and forty cents profit. Let's just say this is gonna hit, and you could keep betting with two dollars until you use. When you lose, you do four dollars, and if you bet four dollars, you're gonna get the return fourteen eighty. So two plus four, it's six dollars that you lost by placing these two bets, but the return is it was fourteen dollars and whatever eighty cents so it makes sense you know ten bets you increase each bet two dollars you know each losing bet and my bets right here let's see for today what did i do today look at this so today only two right right here Today, I won Japan, Peru, both teams to score at plus 220, $2 stake. I won 640. Also, Newcastle Olympic, Edgeworth FC, both teams to score 250. Because when I have, for example, 50 cents extra, I round it up. I do $2.50 or whatever, just to, for example, I have the total amount right now, 117 and 78 cents in my total, um, um, you know, the available. Uh, amount here so i do a two dollar and 78 next bet just because i want to get rid of the 78 cents i'm just weird like that i want to round it up so yeah this is what i won today yesterday or on the 18th the last bet that i won was canada usa at plus uh, plus 275 two dollar 80 return ten dollar 50 also barcelona from Ecuador with Universidad Católica, eight dollar stake plus one sixty, but eight dollars because I lost here. I lost uh, one, two, three in a row. I lost three in a row, and then it came the fourth one, which is eight dollar. I won that one, and then came back again at two dollars. Yeah, yeah, makes sense, Emilio. It's just to round it up. So this is what I do. So far, the highest, I mean, I went to five losing uh, bets in a row. No more than five. So, how much does the odds need to raise when you lose? Well, like, look at this. I usually try to to um, to give myself a chance, right? Because, like, when you go over 220, you kind of go a little crazy. So, I try to do it to stay between plus... 155 plus 160 and 200 right but look plus 220 hit plus 275 hit right this one is plus 160 so you 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 be the judge you be the judge okay like sometimes plus 230 uh plus 155 if i go even in the past let's see what else hit uh plus 270 again it hit what else what else plus 160 plus 200 plus 170 see there's a lot of see this one's st lucia this is from uh before i started the strategy this one two three four five six this is before i started the strategy but as you can see here you know it might work it, you be the judge. You have to juggle with those odds, man. Like you have to feel the moment. Like like Shmilio said, it's like your gut feeling. More of your of your gut feeling with this strategy. Uh, also, you can use uh, you can use Sofa Score, and you can also watch the game before you place your bet. Watch the game a little bit, five minutes, just to feel to see if the players are having energy. If they're like you know willing to to run to, to to chase you know right yeah i know what you're saying best Murph. so you you always keep in mind this the starting um the starting amount like for example let's just say right now i have 117 dollars and 78 cents in my in my account right so you start with this amount and then you looking for twenty dollars profit right so you need to juggle with the odds in order for you to always with a winning bet to cover your losses and give yourself the profit like not the twenty dollar profit 
but some profit so you in order for you to continue to chase until you get the 20 dollars you know it's fun i like it like i'm i really like playing live so um that's why you know with this sports book today just four games it's not enough because you need you need to have a lot of games available right think about think about that you are gonna lose many of them so you need to have a lot of games okay you lose one boom you jump on the other one jump on the other one so you know but if you have time and if you like this strategy try it you know it's not gonna hurt just try it for a few days see how it goes you know and uh yep but uh for today guys that's it uh tomorrow we're gonna come back i'm not sure the time but probably same time like today or a little later probably 8 or 8 30 a.m central time my time today guys we made history it was a crazy 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 day uh for asane we got into the champions league we beat malmo in you know we made history so next uh, next stream is gonna be fun probably we're gonna have the first games into the uh, champions league uh, i think it's under like the first uh, game we're gonna play at home take care guys enjoy the rest of the day and uh, i'll see you all tomorrow take care bye bye